How big is Dave Carver? <laughs> what is up with we wiring just size? This. Like, we just discussed literally this. Literally. Like, crazy. The, it's just one word. It's two. T-O-O. He's too big. Stop with that. Seriously. Stop. I need it. Okay. The Demogorgon is a descendant of human beings that evolved according to the toxic conditions of the upside down. We have Homo Neanderthalus in both realms, then we turn to Homo sapiens in our realm and Homo demogorgus in the upside down realm. I love this, I think it's uh, amazing. A moderator in the line. I'm so upset. Before. Um, Is there anything you don't like you want for that? <laughs> what happened to my face? No, stop scratching. So, this beautiful, perfect piece of that. David, don't scratch. No, no. It's like butter. <laughs> it's so sweet. Happy birthday to you! I thought we were singing. I don't have children, so I don't know if I feel like a set parent. I more feel like an angry uncle, I guess. Like just a grumpy, annoyed neighbor, maybe. Like, get the hell off my lawn. On a serious tip, I mean, I am very protective of those kids. And in the same way that I'm grumpy around them, I'm also sort of grumpy for them. <laughs> so I sometimes will, you know, be very hard on them in ways that other people aren't. Uh, just because I feel like when I was that age, I wanted that. I wanted to grow as a human being. And I didn't maybe even know that. Hi, is this Teen Vogue? Yeah. I want to say I love your magazine. And Lauren Duca and her articles are amazing. Hey, Teen Vogue. David, um, that was great, but I thought we told you we wanted you to read for the role of T. Popper. Uh, you know what? Never mind. This is great. We'll just we'll just do this. And where'd you get that shirt? Uh, I made it. Yeah, sure. The Duffer Brothers never specifically asked me to audition for Eleven, but um, I think that I added a dimension to the character that you know I don't. <laughs> I don't think he's in the final finished product. It's funny, sometimes I do catch pictures of us on set together, and you look like the size of a real person. And I look like <laughs> Gandalf in like <laughs> Lord of the Rings next to some I mean, I look like a, an ogre. Like I look- Stop! Like I'm nine feet tall. Seriously, right. stop! Hey Mexico, it's been a while. I know I've been out of touch and um, I just want to say I'm sorry. By the way, if you're not Mexico, can you please just shut off the Instagram? This is kind of a private conversation between me and Mexico. Mexico, um, look, <laughs> I know things have been weird between us, but I want to see you again. And I'm coming down there tomorrow, whether you like it or not. And I'm starting the big old promotion tour for my big old crazy monster horror superhero movie Hellboy that comes uh, into theaters April 12th. But I'm coming to see you first, Mexico. We wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. We wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. We wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And, and a, a Happy New Year! <laughs> Merry Christmas. Wearing dad jeans and being seen as a completely non-sexualized being. Um, I, uh, no, but I, I, you know, reading the scripts, I did know that there would be a very paternal side to Chief Hopper that we did not experience in season one, so it was cool to have that come out. And not in an objectifying way at all, but you are the hot dad. That's what there we go, you. there that's, we, that's what I like to hear. So how do you feel about that? You're, you're competing with all these actors, but you're, you're coming out on I top. like that. I just wish I was as handsome as Joe Keery, though, plays Steve you Harrington. You guys are, you're fanboying. There's a mutual fanboying. I know, I really like that kid. He's, he's so hilarious in the show. I just love his work so much, so I kind of fanboy him. Uh, I, I love everybody's work on the show. Like, I'm so proud of the actors on this show. I can't even tell you. And I, I'm not normally like that in a lot of things that I do. But this show, there's just such a genuine, like, when I watch it, I'm just so impressed with everybody that, like, it's just such a...
Yo, David, why why do you um, why do you so desperately want to be on the Vampire Diaries? I mean, I just feel like I have a vampire inside of me. Right. And he's dying to come out. You see? <laughs> Did you get the joke? You see that, guys? He's dying. To come he's dying. Out. What is David Harbour? What? What is Was it? David Harbour related to Jack Nicholson? Is David Harbour related to Jack Nicholson? <laughs> Well, that's the most flattering thing anyone's ever that's, Googled about me in my whole that, life. So these are Googled? God, I wish. Wait, yeah, I wish I was dedicated to I wish I was, yeah, yeah, you know. Maybe you are. All work and no play. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Maybe you Here's are. Here's Johnny. Hey, Allison. Hey, David. What's up? Oh, not much. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're on a plane. Looks like you're on a plane, too. I know, I am. Yeah, where are we going? Uh, I don't pay attention. <laughs> Where are we going? We're going to South America. Oh, why would we do that? Because we are going to get on an icebreaker ship with Greenpeace and we are going to go to the Antarctic waters. We are going to go meet some penguins and some whales and some seals and it's going to be the best. And if that giant squid doesn't show up, I'm going to be... Yeah? What are you going to be? Still really excited to meet the penguins. Busted. Busted. Ready to go to the whole H panel? I'm so ready, Finn. David Harbour is in the house, everyone. Oh. <laughs> what is happening? Hey, everybody. I just puked. Welcome to the Drake Passage. Sir Francis Drake, you are a son of a bitch. He's a calculated lady killer uh, and just needs that little extra zhuzh from Steve about the Farrah Fawcett hairspray and that's gonna take him to the finish line with Nancy. Uh, the beginning of this was, I'm a bit drunk right now, sorry if this has already been established and if I don't make sense. My memory of the first season is pretty spotty because I didn't rewatch it. We'll rewatch it because Dustin is dumber than you think. Is David I'm Harbour ripped? No, he's not. Yeah. What? Yeah, watch season three of Stranger Things. What are the blimps that float down on Thanksgiving Day Parade? You know the big Garfield blimp? It's a little bit like that. That's what I base my performance on. It's so good. I love Fat Hopper. I hope you do too. Okay. What's up, Supergirl? Hi. Hi. Um, this is not intellectual, like, at all. I'm so okay. apologize. But me and my friend, we always talk about what dad, um, celebrity dad, we would want to be our dad. And so we made a bet that if we ever met them, we'd have to ask them. So will you be my celebrity dad? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Come here. Eat your vegetables. <laughs> Not too much TV. We'll see. I have no idea. So again, <laughs> I'm the most useless person to do these things, but uh, thank you for having me. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. Do you have a Snapchat filter on? Because my face looks weird. It's it sort of implies that Dustin is extremely sophisticated as an individual of 13 years old. Uh, not just this dude who's looking for chocolate pudding. And um, I want to just thank the people at the Emmys for um, the nomination today. Uh, and just want to say how proud I am of the show. And uh, I want to apologize to Netflix for revealing the monster of season three. I was told there'd be penguins.
Hey, everybody. Uh, uh, it's me. Listen, I'm uh, in a car going way too fast uh, here in uh, Bulgaria. Uh, oh, crap. What was it like working with the great uh, Winona Ryder? Oh, go on, David. I know you love this question. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, Winona is like... Uh, we, she gets very personal very quick, so we were almost like an old married couple after I met her for like two I'm days. Great. And so David Harbor, a nice guy, absolutely depends on the, the day. The best depends on the day. <laughs>